Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get out this elevator now. Where are we going? Let's go. I was going to the gym, No, no, no. We're going to go see whoever it is. What's going on guys, Shy Clips here once again. And today we're going to see some crazy clips of the craziest cheaters I can find. Now like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely insane. And I guess his boyfriend was looking for this moment because he was also having some doubts himself. This guy decided to do a loyalty test so quickly on this couple he just ran across in the mall. And let's just say, I guess the girlfriend was in a rush. They always use this excuse like, oh, we have no time. But I really do hope the boyfriend uses this opportunity later on. Excuse me, are you guys a couple? Yeah. Phone swap real quick, take like two seconds. You guys switch phones, you look through. We don't have time. Oh, wait, wait, he said sure. Why, why are you saying we don't oh have gosh. time? No, go ahead, do it. Five yeah, 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 five minutes. Yeah, go through. Admit, we actually have to go like, close this. Stop, bro. Everything oh, go. Yeah, let's, Dude, let's I switch. I don't have time. I actually don't have time. You ready to move on from her? Yeah. Uh, I feel you, bro. It's okay. Are you Indian? Just go, my friend. Go get those presents. Yeah. You have a good one, man. Bro, <laughs> there's no way that just happened, bro. He definitely got another man in his fucking phone. Dude, why do you try to brush it off with if I'm Indian? Do I look Indian? And this text me of this man over here. I guess he just got way too close to his girls while his girlfriend was right behind him. I know cheating is wrong and all, but to get physical with another person all because they did cheat is completely out of the question. I never support that. <laughs> And this sex with this guy definitely put his foot down in front of his girl. I guess he was just taken out on a date. She ended up hugging a dude by the looks of it. And he just did not like that at all. And I guess the people who are making this TikTok ended up coming at the exact right time. To be honest, this is how fast a lot of men should be putting their foots down. And just never stay with a woman who's disrespecting you. What is the toxic trait out there? Hey, what's the big red flag though? Big red flag? That. See that? You funny. You hug another nigga. Alright, go ahead. Bye. I'm not even doing this shit for the content. I'm being 100 for real. Hey, and I'm glad I'm making your shit go viral because I'm gonna have it like on my daughter. Hey, rip that off me. Rip that bracelet off me. Hey, ri hey rip this bracelet off me. Rip this bracelet off. Rip it off. There you go. In this next one, we have this loyalty test going on over here where I guess this guy ends up hitting up a girl for this other guy who needs his help. Now, I've seen a lot of these clips. However, in this one, I was absolutely surprised due to the fact that this girl has a huge social media following. And you'd think with all the clout that she has on social media, she'd be more cautious about who she texts, especially since she's been talking to a guy for a straight year. But no, I guess she just took the quickest opportunity she had, and I guess this goes to show that sometimes girls with large followings on social media are never a good thing to have. To me, he says he's got a loyalty test for me, but this one's going to be a different type of request. So I ask him what's up. He tells me that his girl is an OF girl and she's absolutely beautiful. But his friends tell him that he shouldn't be with her because of what she does. The thing is, I trust her because she promises that she only does solo content. But they have a rule in which he shouldn't watch her channel because she finds it weird. It tells him that he gets to see it in real life, which he partially agrees on. I'm thinking, damn, I tell him that we should run it just for his peace of mind. I send my PayPal and I tell him to send me the app in which he does. So I click on her account and I'ma be so real, her profile is looking 10, 10. And because she was looking like a model, she's verified and she has a lot of followers, I knew how to put my top risk performance to make this work. I click on one of her pictures and I, I have to pause real quick. If your girl is posting pictures like these on social media while you're with her, she is obviously cheating on you. Who do you think she's posting these pictures for? for herself? Like that's the biggest red flag yet. I'm not sure why this guy didn't leave her sooner. If you allow your girls to post these kind of pictures, I'm sorry, you're a simp. But please keep watching. Send it to her and I slide in saying just found London's best view. She instantly replied and said, and I found London's most handsome man. So I tell her some could say that we're a match made in heaven. And she replies saying, oh hell, depends on how naughty you are. Oh my god, this actually took me by surprise. How is this girl out risen me? Replies saying, hmm, I don't know if you would be able to handle that side of me. You should try me. I may blow your mind. She sends me like a one-time picture of a selfie with a smirk on her face. But at this point, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this girl is a freak. And I'm feeling so sorry for my man. I told her that her energy is amazing. I see you have a channel. It's about time you stop making these short videos and we create a whole movie together. Listen, she was giving me energy, so I was just giving it back. She says, oh my gosh, it's funny you say that because I've been looking for a feature on my page. Maybe it's meant to be. 
Guess Fate has a way of working, huh? Send me your number and we can arrange. Oh my gosh, yes, and sends me the number. So I send it to the guy and I just say, bro, because even myself, I was speechless. It tells me that he doesn't believe it. He's been chatting to the girl for a year straight and asked me to not to call the number and to block it. So I tell him that I'm going to post a video. He tells me that he doesn't care anymore, that I should post it and I should expose her and let And this is next we have this man over here who is bashing other men for, I guess, not being high valued. While this guy does OnlyFans to make his money. I'm sorry, but if you do OnlyFans, you're not a high valued man or high valued woman. I don't care how much you make. Stop missing out on traveling because your man's broke. Go with me. Dude, if you're so rich, then explain this. You think Jeff Bezos has got to do this? What about Elon Musk? Yeah, rich guys don't have to stoop to this level. And also, man, you got a cross on your neck. What's going on? And this is next one, I guess this girl just confessed that she uses dating apps only for validation. And she also confessed to cheating, I think. How do you feel about online dating? It's fun. I only do it for validation. Girl, you have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I used to do it. Stop it. And this is the next one, Santa Claus was not happy with the 16 year old. I guess he already had a child, and to be honest, it is pretty sad to happen at a young age. Yeah, it's mine. You got a kid? Yeah. How old are you? 16. Why? <laughs> Why do you have a kid already? You're 16. I don't know. I didn't wrap it before I tapped it. Yeah, you didn't wrap it up. That's what it was. I don't want no more until you're 25, right? All right. <laughs> And this is actually we have this man over here. I guess he's explaining a story about how his mom cheated on his dad and how this affected the entire family. Now, guys, this is one of the saddest stories I've ever heard of due to the simple fact that this dad really went through a lot and the mom really just didn't care either. It's not like she even wanted to stay with him. Thankfully, this guy over here did stay with his dad, though. But just please listen to what he has to say. It is pretty insane. Is my dad wrong for never speaking to my sister again because he feels like she betrayed him? Man, where do I start? My family used to be real close. I'm talking about real close. Until the day my dad found that my mom was cheating on him. And with his best friend of all people, my mom was cheating on my dad with his best friend, John. The man that was his best man at the wedding. The man that was like a brother to him all his life. And even after my dad found out she was cheating, like any marriage, of course, it started falling apart. But he begged my mom to stay. But she chose John after him. So eventually they got divorced and five months later after the divorce, she married John. Now my sister, Sarah, we, me and her had a choice of who we wanted to stay with after the divorce. And Sarah was like your typical daddy's girl. She was always up on my dad. She was like his mini me, his shadow. And of course he spoiled her more than he spoiled the rest of his children. Cause that was his only girl. That was his baby girl. So she got special treatment. She really got anything she wanted. So when it was time for us to choose what parent to stay with, she chose to stay with my mom and Sarah. And that was just baffling to everybody because she was really like my dad's mini me. So I chose to stay with my dad and Sarah chose to go stay with my mom. And if I were to sit here and tell you that the divorce and Sarah choose and go stay with my mom, if I were to say that that crushed my dad, that would be an understatement. The fact that after this dad caught his wife cheating and still wanted to fix the marriage is absolutely insane. However, the way his entire family and even friend flipped up on him after all of this happened goes to show that people are pretty horrible out there. Even when it comes to your own kids like this guy's daughter. This really makes me question if getting married is the right choice. I'm not single because nobody wants me. No, 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 no. I'm still single because nobody I want wants me. Huge difference. <laughs> And this next one, this girl definitely gets humbled on this podcast, not by only men, but by women as well. She's completely delusional. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> the man that you want doesn't want you back. I don't 
want any man yet. I haven't met the man that I want yet. It's That's cap. my point. Yeah. <laughs> but will he want you back when you meet him? Yeah, thank Boom. you. Thank if you. he doesn't, Boom. then he's Boom. not Boom. the one. More than likely, he oh, won't. He yeah. drop. See, they're yeah. reading yeah. between yeah. the lines. And this next we have this couple over here. I guess they're doing some like lie detector test. And it turns out this woman was passing with flying colors. Well, it was like that initially. I don't want to spoil what goes on. And someone in the comments let me know how accurate these tests are. Because I did hear in the past that they're not completely 100% sure. So would you guys trust this if you and your partner did this? Asked in the last 30 days, have you used the internet to meet other men? She says, no. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. She's passing like flying colors. Now, it started off kind of rocky, right? But my test eventually smoothed on out. Then I got to the, did you want, you can pick your earring up. Then the, uh, I started asking the cheater questions. Okay. First cheater question I asked. Are you having an uh, inappropriate relationship with anyone at your job? She says, no. Lie detector test determined that was the truth. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing happening. Because remember, she was uh, late. So that's at the job, though. Mm -hmm. OK. OK? Mm -hmm. Meaning at the job. I said, are you having an inappropriate said, relationship at the saying? job? I ask whatever question I want to ask yeah, in my mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Okay. I ask, in the past 30 well, days, have you had unprotected, I'm not going to let her divert us, unprotected relation with anyone other than Jesse? Straight up question. Straight up cheating question. She, she says no. I got the biggest spike in history. See how she passed everything? That is I got the lie. biggest spike in history right. when I asked that. Not oh, you passed everything right there. Everything. Hey, you did. Every, no, go ahead. Look at it. You passed everything. Jesse. Jesse, everything I asked, he passed. Look. But except when I got to the cheater stuff. You did some glitchy stuff with the computer. I asked. I, How can I not tell you? How do you know what a glitchy stuff is with a computer? I just oh, man. In this next one, I guess we have this girl over here. She is crying in her car because, well, she caught her man cheating on her. He actually tried playing a bit of games initially, but she had screenshots and everything saved, and his reaction at the end was absolutely surprising. In this next one, let me know what you guys think about this. I'm not sure how I feel, to be honest, because I feel like this is somewhat delusional. Those people still existed in your man's past. So to act like they don't exist ever just for your own sanity, is that a good thing or not? Let me know. The other day, my boyfriend was like, why do you never ask me about like my exes or my past relationships? Because of course he knows everything about mine. I've told him all about mine, but I never ask him about his. And he's like, why do you never bring it up? Why do you never ask it? And I'm like, well, <laughs> babe, because in my head, I have fully convinced myself that you've never dated another woman but me. In fact, I've convinced myself that you've never even had another crush on a woman but me. So um, the reason I don't ask is because all your past relationships are literally fiction to me. They aren't real, they aren't true. Like, I don't believe that. So that's why I never ask. I'm like, sorry, I, should, I, should I be asking? Because like, I can't ask you those questions because in my head, <laughs> they aren't real at all. They aren't real. So I, I just tell myself that so that I stay sane and sorry, so don't fucking tell me anything. Please, I don't want to know. I don't want to know her name. I don't want to know her last name. I don't want to know her sign. I don't, definitely don't want to know her Instagram. And this sex was man absolutely rejected this woman due to the fact that she was materialistic. A lot of men will do this. No matter how pretty a woman looks, if she is materialistic and is super expensive, we will not go for her. Completely honest with you. You real pretty. And this next one, this guy really said that this is not a high body count at her age. What is high then? Explain to me. What do you think body count is? 50s. 50s? Oh, it's 50 lower. It's lower than that. Girl, less. <laughs> 35. Less. 30. Less. 25? Less. 19. Close. I'll give it to you. 15. 15. Oh, they ain't bad. They ain't bad at all. And this sex was guys 100% correct. Men are very visual creatures and we like looking at things. In this post on Twitter and to answer this. Yes. 
Like you could be having a bad day and you just randomly look at your phone and just see a picture of her. And just be like, <laughs> just be like, wow, no, like that shit just does something to and this next one, I guess this guy accidentally texted him on my way baby to his girl as a prank and she did not like that at all. I feel like you gotta be really cautious with this prank because a girl will flip out immediately. Where you going? What? Jeremiah, where you going? I just told you I was going to the gym. You just texted me and said I'm on my way baby. No, I'm, so I told, I'm, go I'm going to the gym, going? babe. Where are we going? What you mean? What you mean when I'm I mean, going to the gym, babe? You to I'm the going gym? to, yeah. I'm Don't try to, to get out this elevator now. Where are we going? I, Let's I go. I was going to Let's the gym, go. No, no, no. no we're we going to go back. see whoever it is that you want to go see. What are you talking about, I'm babe? I'm going to go with you. It's going to be a party now. Babe, why are you acting crazy? Why your eyelashes look like that? Jeremiah, stop playing with me. I'm not playing with you. Don't look like I'm playing. No, no. Well, that's it for you guys. We'll watch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.